Welcome back to another episode. This is episode 12 of the Max Bloom versus the High Bay LED lights. Uh, there's not a whole lot of things I'm going to be going over in this video today. Uh, nothing really interesting anyways, but I just want to show you what I'm doing. Uh, I've actually raised up the high bay a little bit, and that is because the uh, plant under that light has grown a little bit taller, and I'm trying to keep the par levels at the top of the plant canopy the same for both lights, just for this, just for the experiments valid. Um, so I got my Apogee meter here, and I'll show you that. Uh, we are about the same right here at the middle of the plant. This is the, basically the top of the canopy. And you can see we are at about... This is hard to do with one hand, by the way. i move it just a little bit. So we're at about 350 micromole. And we got the same thing over here on the high base side. I actually got a lower there. So 350, uh, very close. So you get the idea. Anyways, I'm going to go over a few things with the plants. Um, and by the way, just looking at these now, I'll throw a clip up on the video here of what it looked like just two weeks ago. As you can see how fast they're growing. Now, in the beginning, I was saying under the Max Bloom, there was tighter internodal, internodal spacing. And um, that was true when I was young. And I'm starting to see here that it's not quite as tight as it used to be when you compare it to the white light side. Uh, so if we go over here, kind of take a look. I basically, uh, this is the... Uh, second node down or so basically I got two fingers here this with the width of two fingers and if I go over to the high bay side about the same node the same thing I got two fingers um, I know that's not very scientific but uh, you get the idea anyways so the node spacing the internodal spacing is not as tight as it used to be it's about the same on both uh, also the leaf spacing looking over here also does not look quite as tight as it did a little while ago and you compare it to the white light side, they look very similar. I don't even, I really don't even need to gather measuring tape because it's such a small difference that you can't barely even see it. To where one of the last episodes I talked about and I showed that there was a difference, but now it's kind of changed a little bit. Um, I'm actually not quite sure why that is. I don't know why that changed all of a sudden. Uh, maybe because it's getting into the upper, uh, more higher intensity light as it's getting taller because I haven't raised or lowered this one. Uh, I've only been changing this one, tr trying to keep this one the same. So, yeah, there's not a whole lot of uh, not a whole lot of difference in the node spacing and the leaf spacing on the branches or anything. Um, I am noticing that these are branching about the same, as far as like these lower shoots growing out. There's one here. Uh, there's the same thing over on the high bay side. Same thing over here. Uh, they're they're about the same. I mean, if anything, it looks to me like there's actually more density on the high bay side now. Uh, quite a bit more density. You, you can you can tell a difference here, even though it's kind of hard to see because of the because of the light. But you can kind of see right through the plant to where this side it's like you know dense foliage. So I just thought I would show that in this update. Um, that's about it for this video. I know it's kind of short and sweet. Probably try to keep it that way from now on. So we'll see you in episode 12, I'm sorry, 13. See you in episode 13. Thanks for watching.